time the air data inertial reference system is powered up, it needs to be initialized so that it knows where it is, which way is north, and which way the aircraft is pointed. You just give the system the aircraft coordinates and give the ADARU time to align its reference axes with the rotation of the Earth and compute true heading relative to true north. Here in the Honeywell Aders Engineering Lab, we've set up an ADARU in a special configuration so that we can go through an alignment and show you some of the problems you might encounter and what to do about them. During an alignment, it's important to keep the aircraft completely stationary so that the ADARU can accurately sense the rotation of the Earth. If the ADARU detects excessive motion, it will restart the alignment. Excessive motion can happen if you're trying to do an alignment in windy conditions or if you're trying to do an alignment while the aircraft is being loaded. And while the alignment is underway, don't run tests on any systems that use ADARU data like the EGPWS, weather radar, TCAS, flight controls, or FMS. Until the alignment is finished, they'll just generate fault codes. To begin the alignment, set all three CDU mode switches to NAV. The on-bat annunciator will light for about five seconds. Now enter the aircraft position. A valid entry of latitude and longitude will be transmitted to all three ADARUs, regardless of the setting of the system display switch. But the ADARUs must be set to NAV on the CDU, and they must be in align mode to accept position data. After you've entered the aircraft position, you could set the display select switch to heading to monitor the countdown timer, or you could select status to monitor for fault codes. If you get a fault code, deal with it and clear it before you continue with the alignment. When the alignment starts, the time to nav display starts counting down. Align time varies depending on your latitude. At the equator, it takes about five minutes. But at extreme latitudes above the Arctic Circle, it can take as long as 17 minutes. When the alignment completes, the align lights turn off and the ADARUs automatically transition into nav mode. So what can go wrong? When you enter the aircraft position, the ADARU compares the coordinates to the position that was stored at the last power down and looks for a reasonable match. If they don't match up, the align light starts flashing and you'll get the ADAR status message, enter present position. This can happen if the position data is entered incorrectly, or if the ADARU has been transported from another location, or if the unit wasn't powered down correctly and didn't get a chance to store the last position data. To power down properly, turn the mode select switches to off and wait 15 seconds before pulling any circuit breakers. That gives the system time to write the position data to memory. Never power down the ADARU from the circuit breakers. So if the align light flashes, check the status messages for the cause and take the appropriate action. If the message is, enter present position, make a second identical position entry. And if the align error is still there, make two identical and correct present position entries on the CDU. It may seem like a lot of entering the data over and over, but it can take several entries to ensure the correct data is used for the reasonableness check. Whenever the ADARU is in operation, it accumulates a certain amount of drift and ground speed error. These errors are sometimes mistaken for an ADARU fault and they can lead to a no fault found removal. This can be avoided by doing a simple 30 second down mode alignment procedure between flight legs or any time the aircraft is stationary in nav mode for an extended time. This procedure zeroes out residual velocity errors from previous nav mode operation. Simply turn the mode select switch from nav to off and back to nav within five seconds. The time to nav counts down on the CDU. The velocities are reset to zero and the heading is refined. Key in the present position. The input must pass a reasonableness test similar to that in the full initialization. After 30 seconds, the align light goes off 
and the aiders goes into nav mode. Initializing the ADRU isn't hard, but you have to do it right. Take care to enter the position data correctly and keep the aircraft stationary and give the procedure enough time to complete. For more details about ADRU alignment, refer to the pilot's guide or the aircraft maintenance manual. For technical assistance, contact the Honeywell Technical Operations Center.